According to the agreement of the scholars of Al Sunnah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Quran that it, it will not change. But there is another verse regarding the other books, especially the one with the angels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَمْحُ اللَّهُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيُثْبِتْ وَعِنْدَهُ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ يَمْحُ means erases. يَمْحُ اللَّهُ مَا يَشَاءُ Allah erases that which He wills وَيُثْبِتْ and يُثْبِتْ is the opposite of erase. What is it? Affirms. Affirms. Or يعني confirms. Whatever. وَعِنْدَهُ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ that the preserved tablet is with him. No change occurs in it. So in this verse, it is very clear that the erasing is not in the preserved tablet. Because Allah is saying, يَمْحُ اللَّهُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيُثْبِتْ Then he says, وَعِنْدَهُ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ And with him is the mother of all books, which is the preserved tablet. There are very good books written in this subject, the best of which is written by Imam Ibn Qayyim, rahimahullah, which is called Shifa'ul Alil, the curing of the ill, you know, because this is a very important issue. If you follow the hadiths, no problem. No problem. No illness will occur to you. You see, that's why Mu'adh ibn Jabal, radiyallahu anhu, one of the companions, Whenever he used to start any session, he used to say two sentences. Allahu hakamun qist halak al-murtabun. Allah is the most wise. Allah is the most just. Destroyed be the doubters. Destroyed be the doubters. Yani, it's only when you doubt the justice of Allah or his wisdom that you will be destroyed. You see? Otherwise, if you have full faith in Allah's justice and full faith in Allah's wisdom, no problem. No problem. No. If there are any questions about this dangerous and important subject, you should not make it hanging in your mind. Ask about it. And the fact that the Prophet ﷺ forbade us from indulging into this subject does not mean not understanding it or not asking to understand it because one of the uh, yani, uh, one of the students of companions he went on asking about this issue five six companions or more and they were all telling him the same answer until someone told him the same answer and then he quoted the prophet وسلم, to tell him to say this uh, answer and that is Whatever occurs to you would never happen to you, and whatever happened to you would not have missed you. All pens have dried, and all books have been folded. And also in this hadith, we have books and pens. Not one book and what one pen. That's why the scholar said five pens or four pens or five books or four books. Prophet ﷺ said, إِذَا ذُكِرَ الْقَدَرُ فَأَمْسِكُوا When the destination, this issue is mentioned, do not indulge in details. Yani you don't have to go in details of something which is a secret. It's written in the preserved tablet. The will of Allah, the details of it are not with us. They are not published. They are in the preserved tablet. So why should we go and Search for something which is hidden. You see? That's why Ali radiallahu anhu said, Al-Qadr sirru Allah al-maktoom. The Qadr is the sacred secret of Allah. Don't go into details about the will and the wisdom and so on in which you cannot reach. This doesn't mean we don't ask for the wisdom. We can ask for the wisdom. No problem. We are not Ash'aris who claim that there is no wisdom. 
The Ash'aris say that Allah does things for no, no uh, cause. Yani they say in their books, Allah takes the most mischievous person. Who is it? Let's say Khomeini or Iblis, let's say. Okay. And he can put him in the highest part of heaven. And he can take the most pious person, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and put him in the lowest part of hellfire. And when you tell them, how could that be? He said, no. It's the way it says, well, we don't ask. You see? This is wrong. This is a very stupid faith. This is not a faith which fits with the wisdom and kindness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see? And the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what we believe is it is true. You don't ask Allah but not only because he is the Lord and the Master, because there is no room to question. You cannot question his justice. He is the most just. You cannot question his wisdom. He does everything for a wisdom, for a good thing. So if you cannot question his justice and cannot question his wisdom, then where does your question come from? You see? But the Ash'aris, when they say we don't ask Allah, they say, just because he is the Lord. You see? This is not true. We don't say this. This is not the way Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hada wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.